Hello and welcome to Your Choice 2020 primary election coverage, coming to you live from Home TV Studios right here in Meridian Township. I'm your host, Ava Bratz, and this evening is probably the most pinnacle time for not only the candidates, but also the community. Everyone here at Home TV comes together, socially distanced, of course, to keep you up to date on what's happening in Meridian Township as this 2020 primary election comes to a close tonight. Joining me on air tonight will be Township Manager Frank Walsh, near all the action, providing us with the result updates and live interviews with Township leaders. Good evening, everyone. I'm Frank Walsh. I'm the Township Manager. I'll be joining Ava tonight to bring you the results. But we have a lot more than just results tonight. We have information about a whole number of things, including what's happening with the farmer's market, we have our new canine unit here, and so much more. It's going to be an exciting night here in Meridia Township. Thank you, Frank. We will be checking in with you throughout the night. And to everyone watching online, wherever you may be, we thank you for inviting us into your home and making home TV a part of your night as we watch the results come in together. Our team of reporters will be out in the field tonight with candidate interviews and project updates. We will be connecting with them via Zoom later on. Now we get to see behind the scenes with reporter Gabby Malta, who was outside the voting precinct earlier today, asking voters about how they felt after their in-person voting experience and why they chose to vote in person during a pandemic. I'm Gabby Malta here at Kenowa Middle School, where Precinct 7 voters cast their ballot. I had the opportunity to ask voters today why they came out to vote instead of doing absentee. Here's what they had to say. Uh, I don't believe in absentee. I love to come in and physically make my choices and uh, also get a feel for who's coming out and exercising their right to vote. I just like to hear my ballot go down in the box to see for myself that it's in there. Um, a little bit of it is tradition. It's just the way we've always done it. Uh, I think absentee ballot, I've done it in the past and it serves its purpose when I haven't been able to do it in person, but I just prefer doing it in person. Now that's just what some voters had to say after leaving the polls. Stay tuned to Your Choice 2020 primary election night coverage for the latest election results. I'm Gabby Malta, Precinct 7, Home TV. And as we switch gears back to the primary election, we now go to Frank Walsh to give us a breakdown of the Meridian Township precincts. Frank, what can you tell us about the voting districts in the township? Thank you, Ava. We, we do have 20 precincts, voting precincts in Meridian Township. Some of those are combined. Um, we have two, lo two precincts at a number of locations. But just to give you some idea of the neighborhoods and the precincts, if you look, take a look at the number of absentee ballots that were returned, by far the largest return in precinct was number 17. And the 17th precinct is over off of Hewlett. Um, that would include the neighborhoods of the Oakland's Preserve and the Meadows and the Sanctuary and Champion Woods. And next to that would be uh, precinct 20, which would be White Hills Lakes, Everett Farms and precinct 20. Uh, 700 ballots returned there, 914 and 17. Precinct 7 with almost 700 ballots returned, absentee ballots. That's the Shoals and Ponderosa neighborhoods. And, and Precinct 4 right there with 677 returned. Precinct 8, which is Forest Hills and Cornell Woods, um, had a return of 665 ballots. Those out of the 1920 precincts that we have, those are the largest returns and absentee ballots that we have. So those are the key precincts that we'll want to hear from later on in this evening to really know where we're at. They'll be the, the bellwether of this election. So that's where we are with the precincts and the neighborhoods that encompass those precincts. All right, we asked the Ingham County clerk candidates how they think the election process will evolve over the next couple of years and why voting makes an impact on the community. Here's what they said. So as a result of the passage of Proposal 3 in 2018, voters no longer need a reason to vote by absentee ballot. This is a wonderful change that was brought by grassroots voters uh, ballot initiative. Therefore, however, we have been seeing an increase, a steady increase in voting by absentee ballot. I've been working with my colleagues, Democrats, Republicans, nonpartisan appointed clerks, uh, 
to encourage the legislature to allow for early processing of AV ballots, absent voter ballots. Um, as unofficial election night results are likely going to take longer, um, longer into the evening, perhaps even the next day, as a result of the restrictive statutes and not enough ballot tabulators that are available. At some point in the near future, I expect there to be increased calls for the use of technology to try to take the process of applying for a ballot and perhaps even voting online. And this presents all sorts of new challenges and uh, concerns in regards to cybersecurity concerns, broad concerns, and more. I feel, quite frankly, that I am well suited to take on those concerns as a member of the Election Security Task Force and the Michigan Election Security Commission. Oh, how it will evolve in the future. I believe we're going towards absentee. That's going to be the biggest one right now that, that um, especially in the times that we're in with the pandemic that's going on, absentee is going to be a big one for this upcoming election. Um, making sure that technology is in everybody's hand every single day, from a phone to a laptop to a computer to whatever that you're on, technology is going to be the one. I am one that likes to go to the polls and cast my votes, but I see that going in a different direction as far as I think we're going to be able to someday cast a vote from our phone, which is going to be odd, but I think that that's where it's going to end up going. Um, and I need to make sure to comply with all the ADA rules and to make sure that that everybody is is feels inclusive in this office. So I think technology is going to be the way. And I'm hoping that, you know, we can keep it to where we can go to the polls and, and, and cast our ballot. But I'm thinking that the phones are going to take it over for us. I hope not, and I hope they keep it that way because that it, that's that's the way to go is to cast your vote. But I think this is where it's going to end up going. Once again, these are the unofficial results. There are still many results being counted with the absentee ballots. Check out the Ingham County website for more results and our website tomorrow. A reminder to watch our replay of tonight's coverage on home TV. Don't forget to tune in to the general election coverage this fall and the uh, so our second election in November. We'd like to thank you on behalf of Home TV for tuning in for Your Choice 2020 primary election coverage. A special thank you also to Frank Walsh and all of our crew members who have worked tirelessly behind the scenes. I'm Eva Bratz and it has been a pleasure spending the evening with you watching the polls roll in together. Be sure to stay up to date with all things Meridian Township related by following us on social media and our website hometv.net. Have a great night, Meridian, and happy election season.